All right, you guys, taking a look at, I'm up in the attic. The only attic access is back here in the garage. I'm gonna see if they can make another one. We'll see what we got going on here. But I got measurements of everything. Um, we're stuck behind, stuck in between some joy spaces. So, I mean, we're really probably gonna have to go back with a 17 and a half inch wide furnace. Um, and this is 100,000 BTU, so it's gonna be uh, something I'm gonna have to probably find. All ours are 21 inches wide, and that's gonna put us just wedged into this uh, roofing area. So we've got return on bottom. We've got some, some stabilizing brackets to hold the drain pan and the actual furnace and coil. Uh, back behind us is the B vent. It's more of the uh, turn and lock style. I don't know the exact brand. I couldn't find it there, but some we can order once we set the unit. Uh, modifier gas and electric, new coil, modifier condensate drain if need be. Definitely need to insulate it and then get our supply put, on, put back on. So this comes down and then tees off, goes this way, and then runs the length of the attic. Return, I'm assuming, is probably just one big uh, return air in the middle of the home. Um, they do have outlets. Actually, they do have lights everywhere. We just need bulbs. There's like three of them that are out. Only one's lit up, but that's throughout the whole attic. And they do have walk boards all the way back, but I'm gonna see about cutting in another opening uh, back where this unit is. And there's the three ton coil. Um, I'll take a look at the AC and we'll go from there. <laughs> 